Hello and Assalamu alaikum, Ultrascan Diagnostics here. This is the CBCT of the patient that you had requested. The area of interest is the lower right and lower left uh, posterior regions. Now on the lower right, as you can see on the panoramic view, we have first and second molar which need to be replaced. In the first molar region, we've got um, some bone which is very close to the five, but there is insufficient bone. Um, here we can measure for you the ridge width is approximately four millimeters. Um, there we go, 3.8 to 4 millimeters of ridge width at the crest and we've got from the crest to the inferior alveolar nerve only 8 millimeters of space. Now in order to place an implant with sufficient diameter for the posteriors, um, we will need approximately um, a 6 millimeter implant because 6 millimeters uh, with the given space will have to be placed here, sorry my apologies. And there we go. So this is 5.5 millimeters of diameter, approximately 2.5 millimeters below the crest. And then we've got an additional space of 6.8 millimeters. So a 6 millimeter implant uh, with 6 millimeter length um, can be placed with approximately a 5 millimeter diameter. So this is in the first molar region. Now I'm going to show you the second molar region, which is slightly more complicated. There we go. This is the second molar region. Um, and here we unfortunately have um, little to no bone height. We've got just 3.5 millimeters of bone height, but we do have 9 millimeters of fridge width. Um, if you want to place an implant, the cortical plate buckle to the inferior alveolar nerve. Um, you have approximately 5 millimeters of width space here and approximately a good length implant can also be placed uh, in the buccal cortical plate um, on the lower right second molar region. On the lower left segment, the first molar is root crown treated with the crown. Uh, we will suggest however extraction of this tooth because of the um, lower left distal root, uh, lower left molars distal root which shows signs of uh, radiolucency and we've got 6-7 millimeters of ridge width with approximately 8.7 millimeters of ridge height. Moving to the second molar region on the lower left quad, second molar region again we've got only 2.6 millimeters of ridge width, uh, ridge height from the crest of the ridge but we have approximately 5.9 millimeters of ridge um, width buckle to the inferior alveolar nerve and we have got approximately 11 millimeters of uh, um, ridge height. So if an implant needs to be placed on the buccal cortical plate, um, there still is sufficient bone um, but we have insufficient bone on the um, superficial or the crestal uh, from the inferior alveolar nerve.